Hey, you guys, I'm Crystal Sherell from Indie Artist School. Welcome to the Singer's Arsenal. Today, we're going to talk about the systems you need to master in your body in order to have a clear, healthy, beautiful voice. The first thing you need to know is that you have three major systems in your body that are responsible for singing. The first is your respiratory system. This includes your lungs, your diaphragm, your rib cage, all the mechanisms needed to use breath, okay? So breath control, breath support is all managed by your respiratory system. The second system is your phonatory system. This has to do with your vocal tract, your larynx, your voice box, and vocal cords themselves. This is the one where if you have any vocal health issues, usually it's right there. It's happening there, maybe even by the esophagus itself or the pharynx, which is also another word for the throat. So if you have acid reflux or you're sick, you have excess, um, you know, if you have any vocal nodules or anything like that, the, that stop notes from coming out, chances are it's going to be impacting your vocal cords, which is a part of your phonatory system. And third is your resonatory system. And this includes your mouth, your sinuses, um, parts of your throat as well. Um, and so this is how you can get clear notes. And this is also your tongue, okay? These are, this is the part where you have the most control, as far as I'm concerned, in real time to correct your tone, clarity, ease, most of all. And then the word you've heard me use earlier and probably in other videos, resonance. Today for this video, I'm not going to be focusing as much on your respiratory system and your phonatory system. If you want to know more about those two systems for respiratory, check out my breath support videos and my how to breathe videos for that. And if you want to know more about your phonatory system, I recommend you check out my vocal health videos. That would be your best bet for those two things. But today, I'm going to focus on your resonatory system. What's resonance? <laughs> So resonance is what happens when you're singing and you sing this note and it comes out so good. I mean, it's clear, it's comfortable, uh, you like the tone, it wasn't hard to produce. And the reason why it felt so good is because it had the magic recipe. Are you ready for this? The magic recipe for a resonant note is having number one, using the right resonator with the right vocal register, okay? So those are the pieces of the puzzle to have perfect resonance. Let's talk about the vocal registers and what they are so you can know when you're in them and know when you can use the right resonator for that. Thing. And I'll tell you what the resonator is in a moment. So your registers, everybody has three vocal registers. Some people have even four. They might have a whistle register. We're going to talk about the main three. Okay, let's start with chest voice. When you're in chest voice, this is usually the lowest notes in your voice. It's also where you speak. And when you're using chest voice, you may feel a vibration in your chest. The correct resonator for this is what is called the laryngopharynx. The laryngopharynx is right here. Oh, oh, oh. It sounds like larynx, right? So to get really, really deep, really, really low, you kind of have to rely on your larynx dropping a little bit, okay? So think, oh, right? So when you have the right resonator, the laryngopharynx in this case, working in conjunction with the right register. We're in chest voice, so we're using the right resonator for that note. You'll get a nice, bassy, rich, resonant note. Ah, uh, okay, so it has depth. It feels full, right? For it to be a low note, <laughs> so you have clarity down there, right? But as you get higher into what's called your mixed voice or mixed register, that's where things have to change. You may notice, if you've ever done this before <laughs> and you've been singing and maybe you're really comfortable using your chest voice, um, but as you get higher, if you feel like you're yelling or if it feels tense or if it feels like your voice wants to flip, so an example would be, uh, like that, where it's like, 
hmm, the tone sounds really weird. Why is it shifting like that? Why is the tone of the notes so drastically different right now? Well, chances are you're not using the correct resonator. So what resonator do you need for mixed voice? For mixed voice, what you need to utilize is your oropharynx. Oropharynx has to do with the mouth, oro, mouth, okay? So in this case, this is where you could use your tongue to change the shape of your airflow and direct air where it needs to be most resonant. So as you're getting higher up, the number one way to have better resonance in mixed voice is to change the shape of your mouth and your tongue to a more eh, ah shape. The higher you go, if you really want a strong resonant belt, it's nice to have a ah shape, okay? No matter what vowel you're doing, the shape of your mouth and tongue should be in the eh, ah, shape to get the most resonance. Now, when I talk about vocal placement, that's really what I'm talking about, you guys. I'm talking about you getting the most optimal resonance. And like I said, in order to get the best resonance, you need to use the right resonator for the right vocal register. Are you following me? I think you are. I think you're getting it. Yeah, go ahead. If you understand what I'm saying so far and it's ringing true for you (laughs) and helping you out a little bit so you're not tensing anymore, I want you to comment, I follow you. Okay, (laughs) let's get it. All right, so as you get a bit higher, you may notice if you were to continue just using that eh, ah shape for all of your notes, no matter what, and you get higher and higher and higher, you may notice something happens, okay? You may notice the notes have to be even louder for you to produce sound. You may also feel tense. You may also feel like you don't have enough space, so it may feel like you're hitting a wall. And that is a number one sign for you to know that it's time for you to change your strategy. It's time for you to change your resonator because what? You're approaching a new vocal register, okay? Now you're approaching, you're leaving mixed voice and you're going higher up into head voice or falsetto. And when you're here, you need to use a different resonator. You need to use your nasopharynx. That's right, nasopharynx has to do with your nasal cavity. So make sure you're allowing a little bit more air to come through the nose now. And also you want to use what's called your soft palate. The soft palate is right behind your nasal cavity as well. So it's like a little soft, squishy part near the roof of your mouth. Imagine that you're yawning. At the top of your roof of your mouth, it should feel like it's swelling and expanding a little bit, and there's air coming out of the nose at the same time. A good way for you to tap into this, if you've never done it before, is to use the sound like you're doing it n sound, n, n, okay, the n sound. That's gonna force air to come through the nose, especially if you're not used to using your nasopharynx, okay, using your na- nose at all when you sing. This is a great way to force yourself to use it now. So if you're a guy and you use falsetto, you may notice that it has a little less presence, so it feels a little more airy. Um, most people, All your head voice sounds a little bit different tonality wise. It's okay, but if you want to add even more presence there, drop your jaw, exaggerate the shape. Try that with me. All right. And you'll notice that everything feels lifted. (laughs) You may even feel a buzz here and a little bit near the roof of your mouth. And that's a good sign that you're finding resonance in head voice and falsetto. And remember, there was a chest voice, mixed voice, head voice. So once you've got that down and you know when you're shifting, you can feel the tension building and you're like, oh, I need to change something. Remember your laryngopharynx for chest voice. Uh Uh-huh. Okay. Just to get down there, get low, low, low. Okay. And remember your oropharynx, that ah shape, that eh shape should be utilized. Your mixed voice. And then at the top end, head voice, you should definitely allow air through the nose. 
Mm, mm, that should definitely help you. If you want to learn more about how to grow into your best voice, go ahead and click the link below in the comments or description, wherever you're at, go ahead and click it so you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one vocal diagnostic with me live. And I could hear your voice and let you know which points of focus you need to know. Is it your respiratory system? Is it your phonatory system? Is it your resonatory system? And if it is your resonatory system, which vocal register needs the most help right now? What is your vocal range? Those kind of questions. Also, I have a one-on-one -on -one vocal coaching program at IndieArtistSchool.com and an online course for singing called the R&B Singers Arsenal at IndieArtistSchool.com as well. But if you want to check out any of these things, click the links below. I hope you guys guys understand now how to utilize your voice a little bit better. Until next time, happy singing.